Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And I know I'm dressed the same way I was in my last video, but I'm kind of knocking out two videos in one day here today. So I'm here right now to work on my three-tiered tray. Yay! Now this little three-tiered tray, let me give you a little history as I've been doing on all of my videos in this, in this side of the house here. This was my grandmother's coffee table. And let me see if I can turn you guys just a little. We go with camera angles again, you know. I've got my big tripod out here and it's a bear. It's big and gives me troubles. Uh, but this is my grandmother's coffee table and the lid comes off of it. See that? This whole glass lid lifts off. And so I have my little placemat underneath the glass. See that? I have it underneath the glass. So this tray just sits right up on top of the glass. This tray used to be black. Chris painted it for me. It is now kind of a rough cream. And then you can see these candlesticks that I got from that little place in Culpepper again. I think the set of them was $5, something like that. They were not expensive at all. And I just put a navy blue candle in them and it is going to, I'm gonna have one on each side. They're gonna flank it here on this table. So, but for now, I'm gonna set them up there and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna see if I can pull this over to me a little bit more. Gonna get started doing this three-tiered tray. And I have just an array of things sitting around here that I'm gonna start adding. First of which is I'm gonna put a tuff of ivy on each layer. I thought I brought scissors, I did. Or I'm going to put one tuff of ivy on each level. Spread it out a little bit here. And I'm not sure it's gonna cover the whole you know, every single solitary space, and I don't necessarily want it to, but I do want some ivy. And I think I'm gonna put the stem toward the center and just kind of turn it around. I don't have a ton of ivy left. I'm trying not to go out and buy more but I, I actually don't need a ton. I do have three tufts of it here. And spread it out. Put that stem toward the middle and then pull the other ones around. Going down around the side too. I've never done with, this is a new arrangement for me, so I've never done this before, so we'll see what we come up with here. I don't have a ton of stuff to put on it. I did collect just a couple of things from Hobby Lobby and uh, Cracker Barrel when I was in Cracker, Hobby, uh, Cracker Barrel, no, nothing from Hobby Lobby, I'm fibbing just from Cracker Barrel and then this little ball I bought at that uh, consignment store here in town, or the, you know, consignment, antique, whatever that store was here that I went to the other day. Okay, now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this because this is littler. So let me see, I don't really wanna see the stem. But you know, ivy kind of grows kind of wild, you know? I'm gonna pretend like this is the front for right now. It really does, it's not going to have a front or a back. That's the point of a three-tier tray, you know? So, there we go. That's the ivy. And now I really don't have too much. Honest to goodness, I do not have a lot. So, but I do have this little salt and pepper shaker that I got from Cracker Barrel when we were in Nashville. 
So I just want to set that right up there. Can I set both out? Oh, they're kind of meant to go that way, I guess. That's all right. I'll just set that right there. This is a little bird that Mick got me, and I love it in this arrangement all the time. So I'm going to actually put her down here because I really do want her in this arrangement. I think she's so pretty. Then I also got plates from Cracker Barrel, three. So I want one, I don't have a, I want one up on the top. I don't have a Lazy Susan here with me. I actually did order one from Walmart from the Pioneer Woman, It's, but I don't know, it's gonna come sometime here. And then let me put one, will it fit? Oh, yeah, it will. One down there. And then one, how about right here? Right there. So that they are opposing one another. Then I have my little ball. I think I'll just set it right down on the bottom shelf. And honest to goodness, y'all, I don't have too much more. I have the, our initial so that can go somewhere the last name's initial and maybe it doesn't quite fit then I have gratitude turns what we have into enough I love that. Uh, let me see. I really don't have a lot. I've got some, uh, I've got this little Madame Alexander Christmas ornament. She's kind of pretty in blue. I had her in here for spring. Let's set her up here. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't have any glue dots left, y'all. I haven't gotten back to Hobby Lobby, so excuse things if they kind of need a little help. Okay, I set her right there. That'll be fine. And that's it. I do have some florals here. I have some hydrangeas that I've been putting in other places of the, you know, in this decor. So I thought I would definitely add some in here too. Got three tufts left. Oh, let me see here. Tuck that kind of in the back. And then right up on top. And I have one white rose left. At least that's all I have sitting over here with me. I may have some more over there. But one white rose. And then I have a couple of daisies I had in here. So why don't I just do, just make this work and do the one rose there and do a daisy up on top and one on the bottom here. we go and the only thing else I have are just some blueberries let me cut what I have left off of these two stems and that's what I'll use and then that is gonna be it y'all that is it I know there are times when I make things bigger and bolder, but I really want this to be just a soft little touch of, you know, it doesn't have to be bold and in your face all the time. 
and I'm trying to teach myself that it's okay for it not to be like that. Y'all know it's okay for, you know, uh, for the core to be just a little bit softer. And less intrusive, if you will. I might not even use this, you guys. It's driving me nuts. I can have some white berries. Got my gratitude sign. I'm going to be really grateful if you sit up there, sign. <laughs> I think y'all. I have a few more blueberries, but not very many. I'm really not going to worry about it. And, and this thing, I'm not going to worry about it. I won't sit up there until I get a glue dot. I might stick it in there after I get it, get some glue dots. But I think that's it. You know, just subtle and pretty and soft. I love it. That's it. Alrighty, you guys. Boy, this was a quick one, huh? <laughs> My goodness. All right. Well, but that's all I have for you in this one. So I will turn around here and do some final words. Get this set up here, pretty. Yeah, I could. I would wish I had a few more things to put in it, but I really don't. I really don't have anything else. So that's okay. Maybe in my travels, I'll find some more. Uh, got one tough of these kind of berries, but I really don't want to put a different berry in it. So maybe in my travels, I'll find a few more little tiny things to stick in here. But for right now, I'm going to be happy with it just the way it is. I think it's pretty and soft. All right. So let me do some final words as I'm sitting here. It's a different spot for me. I'm sitting in front of my living room couch here, as you probably figured out. But that'll be it for this one, you guys. I'm really quick, little, uh, soft little, little three-tiered tray here. I'm loving it, though. I love how it turned out, and I think it's going to be perfect, just subtle for in here. So, all right. Uh, don't know what's next. I don't even know what day of the week it is on this one, you guys. So, the next thing coming up will probably be my lantern. And if it's not, I'll flash it up there and tell you what might be next. <laughs> anyway, boy, I'll tell you, I, my makeup is, I really did a stellar job, didn't I? Oh my goodness, either that or I'm having a hot flash. For this one, thank you guys so much for stopping in here to visit with me, even if it was just for a little while today. I appreciate all of your support and I appreciate every single comment that you leave me. I do understand that some days I'm not able to comment back and to respond to everybody as, as much as I want to. I would love to respond to everybody, but you know, we get a lot of comments and it is hard for us to respond and to create and to run our lives, you know, too. So please, please, please forgive me if I don't get back to you on every comment in every video. I do the very, please know that I'm doing the very, very best that I can. So, alrighty, uh, let me just say that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.